Hello everyone, today in this video we will be discussing the module 5 SADP super important question which is regarding the user requirements so it can be asked for 7 marks, make sure you know this question very well let's have a look what are the few key points you have to remember in uh, easy manner and make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel for more videos like this and uh, without wasting more time let's get started the user requirement means, see the user must be able to type the URL and login into the library system we are considering an example of a library system so the user is logging into it and going to the library system inside the web okay and that there is, there is the classification for the user of two types super user and uh, ordinary user super user as we all know it's the admin ordinary user is the person who is ordinary okay like the normal uh, person who is um, accessing the library okay as a member and what are the features of super user what are the features of the ordinary user will be having, having a look that's all what you have to write and uh, super user can execute some commands like when logged in from the terminal as ordinary users cannot execute the commands only the super user has that option to execute commands what are the commands you can execute adding a book adding a member adding a removing a book removing a member and uh, process hold save data to the disk and retrieve the data all these things which are happening at the back end that is handled by the super user whereas the super user and ordinary user can issue the following command issue a book return a book and renew book place remove hold or print transaction okay so these are the things uh, the both of the users can do and every user can uh, do the following stuff which is the last key step which is exit the command to terminate the session after that what you have to write is some commands can be issued in the library only this includes all the command for the uh, super user that has access to the command issue book and the super user cannot uh, issue any command from outside they have to come to the library and uh, they have to log in into the system then only they have to do and the super user have the password and the IDs which is super user ID and the password given to them whereas for the ordinary users what is there is the library member ID is there and the user IDs uh, mobile number is the password okay so that's all make sure the like button subscribe to the channel for more videos like this and thank you so much for watching I'll see you in the next one